Greetings, aviation folks welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another episode of Aircraft Comparison. The F-35 and Su-75 were manufactured in different countries, the US and Russia, and we received a lot of requests to compare them. Let's analyze the capacities of each aircraft. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a series of American single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft that can carry out both air superiority and strike missions. It can also perform electronic warfare and give capabilities for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The F-35A for conventional takeoff and landing, the F-35B for short takeoff and vertical landing, and the F-35C for carrier-based operations are the three major variants of the aircraft. The F-35 made its maiden flight in 2006, and the U.S. Marine Corps F-35B became its first operational unit in July 2015. The F-35 weighs significantly more than the lightweight fighters it replaces the lowest variant has an empty weight of 13,300 kg. A large portion of the weight is caused by the internal armament bays and the complex avionics carried. Sukhoi is currently developing the Su-75, a single-engine stealth fighter intended for both export and the Russian Aerospace Forces. Initial deliveries are planned for 2026-2027, the aircraft will be manufactured for the Russian Armed Forces as well as for export with about 300 units estimated to be produced for export over the next 15 years. United Aircraft Corporation has announced that they want to construct four Su-75 Checkmate prototypes, with flight tests beginning as early as 2024. This was announced recently on August 16, 2022. The aircraft was designed domestically with the aid of a supercomputer, contemporary virtual modeling, and digital calculations, which drastically shortened the testing and construction period to five years. The Sukhoi 75 engine is Delia 30 is designed to be 30% lower in specific weight than its AL 41 F1 predecessor, and up to 18% more effective, with an estimated thrust of 107.9 kN dry and 171.7 kN in afterburner. Once in series production, the Isdelia 30 engine will have a much longer lifespan than other Russian engines. The F-35 is 15.7 meters long, while the Su-75 is 17.5 meters long. The Su-75's wingspan is 11.8 meters, compared to the F-35's 11 meters. The Su is 5 meters tall, whereas the F-35 is 10.70 meters. The Su-75 features a single Saturn is Delia 30 turbofan engine, while the F-35 has a single Pratt & Whitney turbofan engine. The maximum takeoff weight for the F-35 is 31,751 kg, whereas the Su-75 can lift 20,000 kg, the maximum speed of the F-35 is 1.6 Mach, whereas the Su-75 can reach 1.8 Mach. The Su-75's G-limit is plus 8, while the F-35's is plus 9. The F-35 features two internal weapon bays and four weapon stations. There are air-to-air -air missiles at the two inboard weapon stations. Among the air-to-surface weapons for the outboard station are the Joint Direct Attack Munition, the Paveway Line of Bombs, the Joint Standoff Weapon, and Cluster Munitions. The AIM-9X or AIM-132 ASRAMs can be mounted on either of the wingtip pylons, which are canted outward, to lower the radar cross-section. With more than 7 tons of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface munitions aboard, the Su-75 fighter will be able to strike numerous targets at once. It has 11 external weapons attachment ports and 5 concealed bays. It is capable of being equipped with guided missiles like the short and medium-range RVV missiles. It can also be equipped with 285 km range KH-59 Mk-2 guided missiles and Thunder A-1 precise ammo. Additionally, it can match one of the precise weapons the Su-75 Checkmate combat fighter can be outfitted with for the annihilation of ground targets with the X-38 MLE air-to-surface tactical guided missile. 
F-35 avionics and sensor fusion, which are meant to enhance the pilot's situational awareness and command and control skills, enable network-centric combat. The BAE Systems Barracuda Electronic Warfare System, the Northrop Grumman Raytheon Distributed Aperture System, the Lockheed Martin Electro-Optical Targeting System, and the Northrop Grumman Communications, Navigation, and Identification Suite are a few of the crucial sensors. With its cutting-edge electronic warfare technology, the fifth-generation stealth fighter will be able to instantly detect and neutralize shifting electromagnetic threats in disputed battle zones. The combat aircraft Su-75 Checkmate includes the Matreshka logistical support system. To reduce the pressure on the pilot, the principal onboard electronic equipment, which is AI-enabled, acts as the co-pilot. The intelligent support system continuously keeps an eye on the aircraft's critical systems. The automated Matreshka system enhances after-sales efficiency while reducing operational costs. It uses predictive analytics to look for possible issues in order to increase the fleet's readiness and availability. The F-35 has unquestionably advanced more technologically than any other fighter jet. In fact, the F-35 is one of the versions with vertical lift and landing capabilities, which are among the best technologies ever employed in a fighter aircraft. It also has the most capable and sophisticated avionics. The aircraft is only sold to a small number of countries with close relations to the United States, and its maintenance costs are higher than those of any fifth-generation fighter jet. The Sukhoi-57 multirole fighter jet is followed by the second Russian fighter jet of the fifth generation, the Su-75. Since the Su-75 will be more affordable than any fifth-generation aircraft, several nations may decide to purchase it in order to have stealth fighter jets with cutting-edge weaponry. Su-75 is now undergoing testing. After the finished product is made public, only then will it be possible to assess how competitive the fighter jet is. According to estimates, the cost per unit of Su-75 may range between $60 to $70 million, making it the most affordable Russian fifth-generation product. The cost of the F-35 begins at $80 million per aircraft and varies depending on the systems used in the aircraft. Finally, only in a real-world scenario are both fighter jets technologically better. Please share your thoughts on the two fighter jets with us.